morning. It's about 10 to 9 in the morning and I'm in a little town called Frodsham. I'm going to walk the sandstone trail. I'm going to take two days to do it. I'm going to wild camp somewhere or find somewhere to stick my tent. Uh, it's a 34 mile trip and uh, it finishes at a town called Whitchurch. And uh, I'm going to be trying out Al uh, low Alpines new Altus 42 litre backpack. All the videos I've seen of uh, this walk have all these steps on them. And I think you've got to go them steps to get up the top of that hill. So let's go. So I've climbed up the hill out of Frodsham. This is a war memorial. I guess now I'm on the ridge of the sandstone sandstone trail. That across there is the Mersey Estuary. And that's the M54 or 6 is it? That runs to the A55 along the north coast of um, Wales. Over there is an oil refinery. And somewhere in the misty haze over there is Liverpool. But can't quite see it now. It's just the beginning of my walk, and here are the sandstone rocks which mark this walk. And you can see by the soil I'm walking on, it's all very red. I've reached a viewpoint called Woodhouse View. So I am heading south, or the path's heading south, but um, I've not left the motorway behind yet, but I think the estuary is sort of going out over that way somewhere. So it is gradually pulling away from it. That's a brilliant start though. old looking trees in those woodlands. The path goes past this place. It's called Osterton Hall, which is a, a 15th century manor house, which apparently originally was in Nantwich, and they dismantled it and rebuilt it completely as it was. What a beautiful setting. This week the weather's been pretty chilly and they said it was going to get warmer and it's right. It is. It's definitely warm. It's not too hot for walking but I can feel the sun which is quite nice. It's better than being cold. I don't know what it's going to be like tonight, <laughs> only 10. I think the temperature will drop quite a bit then. But it should be alright. I've got a good sleeping bag and brought some uh, base layers to wear. It's an incredibly peaceful walk. Really, really nice. Good morning. Oh, is that solar powered? Uh, <laughs> afraid not, no. <laughs> Be great if it was. Morning. Hiya, morning. Good 
This is the second potato field I've walked past today. The rows all look incredibly neat and tidy. I am now entering into Delamere Forest. I think that's how you say it. Which I think they call it Forest Park. Here you go. Hiya. Hiya, you right? Yeah, yeah. You walk in the trail, are you? Yeah, yeah we've gone through frog chip, so. You walk in the whole thing? No, I would have done about 12 miles or what back. This is just our training session for the big one in June. What are you doing in June? The Cantoran Yacht. It's 54 miles in 24 hours. It's an army charity thing. Oh, okay. We do it here every June. Oh, right. So okay. it's, there's a trail in Scotland called the Catron Trail. Okay. Uh, so this is the Catron Yomp, 54 miles, 24 hours. 24 hours. I did it last year. Uh, I got to 38 miles last year. I've walked right through Delamere Forest. I was going to stop at the visitor centre and eat my lunch there. But I met up with these three guys that are walking 12 miles one way and then 12 miles back again. They're practicing for a 56 mile walk up in Scotland, which you have to do in 24 hours. And they're doing it for the Army Benevolent Fund, so it's a charity walk. And walking with them, I've got Jim Wagon. Walked straight past it, in fact, didn't even see it. So, uh, yeah, I'm out the other side, Delamere Forest. So I found this uh, stone wall with some sleepers on top, and I thought, that'll do. So I'm going to stop now and have my lunch here and then carry on. I think I might have done about seven miles, ten to go, but it's alright. Feeling good and really, really enjoyed the walk so far. It's been brilliant, really beautiful, peaceful, fantastic countryside. What more can I say except a mongre? Well, I've eaten my food, had a bit of a break. I'm not very good at having breaks. I ought to have longer really, but anyway, pressing on. There's a kind of detour that you can do of a place called, I think it's called Pale Hill. So I thought, I'll, uh, I'll do that, because it's supposed to have really good views, which is just up here somewhere. Oh, I'm standing on pale heights. Oh, there looks like a water reservoir. I think there's a nuclear bunker there somewhere as well. And then up on top of pale heights, you get all this massive view. I'm not sure what's where they say you can see whales. That looks like it might be the refinery over there. That means Wales is behind me. And this that must be Cheshire, I suppose. Somewhere down there. Every time you see a video or a picture about the sandstone trail, you always see this thing of a wild boar. I ain't got a clue if there's any wild boars out there. I suppose it used to be years ago, but whether there are today, who knows. I've reached the A54, which is a bit of a busy road. Anyway. Go cross it and go straight down there.
stopped for a 10 minute break sitting on a stile. I've got a great view out over the fields and that. It's surprisingly hot. I think it said it was going to be about 17, but I think it's more than that. It's, uh, it's still beautiful though, it's still really peaceful. So I think five minute rest, ten minute rest, then press on. I think, I don't know, probably got about six more miles to go, something like that. So that's not too bad, is it? That's what, two and a half hours maybe, something like that. So yeah, and I think it's only about two o'clock in the afternoon, so there's no rush. Enjoy it. This is Wood Lane, which bears no great significance in itself, except to me, it's bringing me into the region of the town of Tarpoli. And Tarpoli is round about halfway, not quite I think. So, that means I'm nearly at the end of my day's walk when I get there. Which probably mathematically doesn't add up or make a lot of sense, but in my head, the way I divide distances up, it does. So in my head it's like I'm entering into the region of the final stretch. Mind you, I'm not sure I'm going to camp tonight, so it might be a long final stretch. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, it's my head, isn't it? That up on the hill there must be Beeston Castle. I can see the castle a bit better now. And then down there is the canal. So I'm going to walk down to the canal and then turn right. And hopefully along there there's a pub called Shady Oak. I've made it to a pub called the Shady Oak. And they've got a campsite, but they ain't got no toilets, so I can't camp there. So I think I'm going to have to go uh, back along the canal and just pitch up somewhere along the side of the canal. It's a bit of a shame. Anyway, stop near for some food and a drink. That's the pub where I have me grub. Shady Oak. So I'm going to go back along the canal and um, just want somebody to pitch up I guess. That's what I'll have to do. Well this is it. This is my pitch for the night. I haven't seen anybody so hopefully it's just me and the canal. <laughs>